It's always fun to do a little research before trying a new show. Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today we'll be counting down our picks for the top 5 facts about Rise. Before we begin, we publish new content every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. For this list, we'll be looking at fun facts related to the upcoming musical drama series Rise, set to debut on March 13, 2018. Number 5. It's based on the novel Drama High. Okay, we confess. Rise isn't actually based on a book called Drama High. It's actually based on a book called Drama High, the incredible true story of a brilliant teacher, a struggling town, and the magic of theater. But that was a little too long to squeeze into the entry title. The novel, which was published in 2013 and written by Michael Sokolov, is based on the true story of Lou Volpe, a teacher at Harry S. Truman High School who over the course of many years turned the school's theater program into one of the most respected in the entire country. Right now, let's dream big. Number 4. It's from the mind of Tony winner Jeffrey Seller. An award-winning theater producer who's worked on everything from Rent to Hamilton, Jeffrey Seller is exactly the kind of person you want crafting a show about an upstart theater program. Since 1996, he has had a hand in developing numerous Broadway hits, and he's been rewarded for his work to the tune of five Tony Awards. With his sights now set on making Rise NBC's next big thing, we can't help but wonder to what heights the show will soar. Depending on its level of success, we may well see Rise on Broadway somewhere down the line. Number 3. It's working to promote theater arts education. In a truly inspirational move, NBC has teamed up with the Educational Theater Foundation to provide grants of $10,000 to 50 schools across America. The $500,000 pledge will seek to revive numerous floundering theater programs from across the country. The partnership is to be called Rise America, a clear reference to the network's upcoming show. The impact of this donation is simply immeasurable, as it will impact the lives of countless U.S. teens for years to come. It sure is nice to see a major corporation giving back in a big way. Number 2. Fans of Glee and Friday Night Lights will love it. Whether you are a die-hard Gleek, a fanatical supporter of the Permian Panthers, or both, chances are you will totally love Rise. The show dips into both of their worlds, as it focuses on an English teacher tasked with revitalizing a theater program at a school whose main priority is football. Rise has the added benefit of being developed by the former executive producer and head writer of Friday Night Lights, Jason Kadams, who won a primetime Emmy for his work on the show. An inspiring plot based on true events, developed by veteran producers Jeffrey Seller and Jason Kadams. What more could we possibly have to say? Number 1. It has a great cast. The cast is stacked with both new and old faces of varying degrees of celebrity. For starters, the one and only Josh Radner, who you'll instantly recognize as Ted Mosby from How I Met Your Mother, will play Rise's main character. As if that weren't already enough, the show will also feature Academy Award nominee Rosie Perez, as well as Olii Carvalho, the uber-talented teen star of Disney's Moana. Still not impressed? That's okay, we saved the best for last. And her name is Barb. Okay, her name is actually Shannon Purser but you'll know her best as Barb from Stranger Things. Seriously, how pumped are you for this show? Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from Ms. Mojo and subscribe for new videos every day.